Welcome to Wednesday Morning Prayer as we remember Dunstan, Archbishop of Canterbury. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, in everything give thanks, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and for ever. Amen. A Song of God's Grace Blessed are you, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for you have blessed us in Christ Jesus with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places. You chose us to be yours in Christ before the foundation of the world, that we should be holy and blameless before you. In love you destined us to be your children through Jesus Christ, according to the purpose of your will, to the praise of your glorious grace which you freely bestowed on us in the Beloved. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and for ever. Amen. Our psalm this morning is Psalm 45. It begins, My heart is astir with fine phrases. I make my song for a king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the psalm. We consecrate this day to your service, O Lord. May all our thoughts, words and actions be well pleasing to you and serve the good of our brothers and sisters through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The reading this morning is from John chapter 17, verses 6 to 19. It begins, Jesus prayed, I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours and you gave them to me and they have kept your word. You may wish to pause the video here to complete the remainder of the reading. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The Canticle to Deum Laudamus We praise you, O God, we acclaim you as Lord. All creation worships you, the Father everlasting. To you, all angels, all the powers of heaven, the cherubim and seraphim sing in endless praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. The glorious company of apostles praise you. The noble fellowship of prophets praise you. The white-robed army of martyrs praise you. Throughout the world, the Holy Church acclaims you, Father of majesty unbounded, your true and only Son, worthy of all praise, the Holy Spirit, advocate and guide. You, Christ, are the King of glory, the eternal Son of the Father. When you took our flesh to set us free, you humbly chose the virgin's womb. You overcame the sting of death and opened the kingdom of heaven to all believers. You are seated at God's right hand in glory. We believe that you will come to be our judge. Come then, Lord, and help your people, bought with the price of your own blood, and bring us with your saints to glory everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. A 
collect for Dunstan, Archbishop of Canterbury and Church Reformer. God ever present, inescapable, you called Dunstan to build up the church and restore the monasteries. You gave him grace when he sang at the altar to be like one who talked to you face to face. Make us, we pray, more like him, through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. You may wish to pause the video here to say intercessions, thanksgivings and prayers. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit, that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of steadfastness and encouragement grant us to live in such harmony with one another, in accord with Christ Jesus, that we may with one voice glorify our God and Father. Amen.